So I'll just give you a, a general explanation of gear operation. So most bikes will have uh, numerous cogs at the rear and one, two or three at the front. So this, in this case we have 11 at the rear, two at the front, so the bike is 22 speed, uh, you know, multiplying two by 11. So at the front we have a small chainring and a large chainring. When the chain is on the small chainring, it's the lower of the two gear combinations, which means it's easier. So low gear is easy, high gear is harder. So when the chain is on the smallest at the front, but the largest at the rear, this is the easiest gear or the lowest gear. So if we pedal, uh, this sort of cadence on the road, it might be five kilometers an hour. So you can go quite slowly, um, or quite easily if you're going uphill. So obviously on the hills it becomes hard for everyone. So the lowest gear is the easiest gear. So to change gears, on a, uh, all bikes will have a, a lever of some arrangement. So one click of the gear lever will change the chain down one sprocket at each time. So and now on the third, changes to the fourth, the fifth, the sixth, the seventh and so on. So each click of the lever is one gear change. And as you change that one gear, it becomes progressively harder, which means you can go faster as the gear ratio gets higher. So it's like in a car, if you're in first gear, it's for going slow. If you're in fourth gear, it's for going fast. And it's the same on a bike, except we have many more uh, increments in between. So at the front, uh, sorry, at the rear, firstly, the gear difference or the ratio difference between each gear is small. So You'll note as you're pedaling, you'll notice a small difference in the, in the uh, pressure that's required to pedal and the load on your legs. But at the front, when you change from the small to the large, the difference in the gear ratio is quite big. So this makes a dramatic difference to the effort required, whereas at the rear, it's just a small difference with each gear change. So if we're in the large one at the front, this is the high gears. And exactly the opposite to where we started, when we're in the large one at the front and the small one at the back, that's the highest gear. So it's the, the hardest gear, but also means if you're strong enough or the wind conditions or road conditions are favorable, it's also the fastest gear. So uh, we go from the easiest being the lowest to the highest being the hardest and slowest and fastest. So in this case, 22 gears, the top one being the 22nd is the hardest and uh, most riders would never need this gear but sometimes it's good just to turn the legs slowly if you have a tailwind or something like that. So main thing with derailleur gears too is the, to be pedaling as you change. If you push the gear lever while you're not pedaling, it won't change and then it just crunches and carries on. So and it, most gears are quite precise. Each click of the lever is one gear change. If you have a bike which has uh, three chain rings at the front, the concept is exactly the same. The third inner chain ring will just be give you a much lower gear range, medium and then high. Hopefully that explains things. If you need any further information, perhaps come and see one of the Starford Ivano cycles and we'll endeavour to uh, educate you on the use of gears. Thanks.